What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Bond Department YouTube channel. I, of course, am Luke. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Bond Department, Twitter, Bond Department. So uh, what we're going to do here is the new James Bond, or I should say, shouldn't say new, the remastered GoldenEye has come out on Xbox and Nintendo Switch. As of right now, it's only online, like multiplayer, on Nintendo Switch. Hopefully that'll change. But what we're going to do, just to kind of relive the nostalgia, is we'll do just like a little bit of a playthrough. Um, I haven't really been able to play the game like I, w I would want to since I was a kid. So we've got it for Xbox here. I'll have my little picture-in-picture picture as I play, almost as if I'm streaming it. And uh, I'll kind of just talk through each level. Um, I mean, it is essentially a playthrough and a walkthrough, but it's not so much a guide. Um, you can kind of follow along and see what I do if that's what you were interested in watching the video for, to kind of, if you're stuck on something. Obviously, I'm going to attempt to beat all these levels on Double O Agent, but I haven't played this game since I was a child. So I don't know if I can. If I can't, don't make fun of me. I'm not like a gamer. It's not my thing. <laughs> Bond is my thing. So, um, so yeah. So every Tuesday and Thursday of each week, I'll do a level. So Tuesday we'll start with one, and then later that week on Thursday will be the very next level. I'll try to do them all in Double O Agent. If not, it'll at least be Special Agent. I won't do Agent. Um, that's not fun. It'll take me two minutes. But yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, it's more so to just kind of relive the nostalgia. GoldenEye 64 is what got me into Bond. Um, my channel wouldn't exist if it wasn't for GoldenEye 64. The game led to the film, which led to this. So, just kind of want to relive it, relive childhood a little bit, and then I'll kind of talk through each level, personal experience, you know, with each level and relating it back to the film and whatnot. So I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, let's get at it. So, here we are, playing GoldenEye, the remastered, not the remake, so remastered. They had remade it for Xbox or whatever, I think that was 2010, I believe. That one I actually don't remember playing. I'm sure I did, but I just don't remember playing it. See, this is what's, um, what's big for us, us Bond fans, and if you're new to the channel, because, you know, the game is technically new. I think it's getting a lot of play time right now. So if you stumbled across my channel, um, obviously I don't normally do playthroughs or walkthroughs. Uh, this is more so um, kind of a Bond thing. I mean, this game is what got me into Bond. It's why my channel exists, Bond's apartment. Um, so if you don't, already know about it, follow me, Instagram, YouTube, whatever else. But uh, you know, what's cool about this is it's basically exactly the same as it was on Nintendo 64. And I should essentially say it is exactly the same. The only difference is they've fixed some, you know, I would say just some minor graphics things to make it playable on Xbox. Xbox One or Xbox, whatever it is you have. And, um, you know, that was the biggest issue before, was I still have my Nintendo 64, I still have Goldeneye. And, you know, the, the nostalgia is there for me playing this right now, of course. But the other main thing is, you know, I could just go play this. I could have played this, I mean, this game's been out, I mean, today's Tuesday when you're watching this, so this game's been out for three or four days. I think it came out on Thursday or Friday the following week, so almost a week. It's supposed to be Friday, but I think it came out a day early. But the problem was playing 
old Nintendo, or old, yeah, old Nintendo 64, old Goldeneye on a modern TV was rough. It was rough to say the absolute least. Um, <laughs> and like, I don't know what it is now that I'm, you know, 31. Apparently I can't tolerate things that, like that, like I get motion sick. <laughs> So I was, I just couldn't play it. I couldn't play it like I am right now. And actually it wasn't long ago. Um, I'd say less than two years, if that, where I actually downloaded the emulator and played this on the computer. And I will tell you right now, train level, trying to laser the ground with the watch on the computer, on the laptop, is a pain in the ass. Oh my God, was that awful. Um, another thing here, uh, I'm trying to beat this in 10 minutes. That's another thing. This is more of a bond thing. This isn't so much a, a playthrough for, you know, speed sake or for clout sake or whatever it is that walkthroughs are for. This is, you know, and it's not so much like a, this is what you do, this is how you beat this level. This is more so Bond's apartment, me, reminiscing about the game that got me into Bond. It's the reason this channel exists. And kind of going through each level, playing along, of course, doing, you know, technically that does turn this in through, into a walkthrough or a playthrough, which I will be doing every single level. And I'm gonna try to do them all on Double O Agent. But uh, it's not it's not me trying to show off my gaming skills. I think that's the simplest way to uh, to explain. So if people are watching this and they're like, oh, it took him 15. I'm not trying to do it fast. Or if I die and restart, <laughs> I'm not trying to set a record. If I happen to do one on secret agent instead of double agent, it's because it's just too freaking hard, man. You know, I'm sure I'll get there one day, but I, I'm not trying to also like continue to refilm this these walkthrough playthrough things so it's like if i'm playing it on double agent and i just can't beat it i'm just gonna do it on secret agent it's more so about talking through the level and uh and kind of reminiscing about goldeneye 64 as well as the game so we can start that now because at this point is when the film actually starts um you know of course in double agent you have to i already disarmed the already through that thing on the computer, but in this particular level, you have to go through and disable all of the alarms. And all of those are attached to these kind of underground tunnels here at each one of those guard towers. Um, and then another thing you have to download something or see, this is the thing here. Let's look, let's look at it while we have it. I mean, I have to do this in 10 minutes, but. So I already installed the covert modem we got to do the intercept the data backup, neutralize the alarms. We're doing those things right now. Um, so none of this is in the game, of course, or in the film, I should say. This is all uh, new stuff. It's different. But as a kid, this is how I got into Bond. I had no idea what it was. It's, I don't know if that's embarrassing to say or not. I mean, I was, I don't know, seven or eight when uh, this came out. So. I'm not entirely sure if it's bad or good, but this is what got me into the actual films. So what was very um, nostalgic is in the word because that's what we're doing right now. What was very, it was submersive for me because you went from playing a game to seeing a film, a Hollywood spy film in which a lot of this game is like a shot for shot remake of. You know, I mean, obviously there's things added for the sake of having something to do in some of those levels, but I mean, it was for for a young kid, I mean, less than 10, when I first started playing this game, to be able to play this and then turn around and watch a movie just really uh, stoked the imagination. So that will probably forever be why this is one of my favorite games, if not my favorite of all time. I'm, I do have to say too, I'm very pleased that um, Nintendo and Xbox chose GoldenEye to remaster and put on their platforms because 
Uh, it's the original, and it's the best. So we're still going through here. We gotta kill all these guys and taking my sweet time because once I get through that door behind that guy there, oh, there's somebody here. I can't paying attention. I'm trying to narrate, make it not so dull. Um, yeah, once we get through these doors here, there's a couple guys back there, and one of them will, uh, if he starts shooting where he's standing, he'll blow up the thing that I need to do, and that completely ruins the level for us. So, we'll just stand here for a hot sec while they come up, because they're stupid. I mean, all these old mannerisms that these guys do, they're just, this is just classic. Classic, stupid, you know, but like, this game was also revolutionary when it came out, too. This was very, very groundbreaking when it came out. Gotta hit A here, do that. We gotta get the hell out of this room. We've got one more alarm to disable and then we will jump and that will be the level. But like I said earlier in this video, um, the film starts off with him running down the dam, throwing his rope down and then bunging off into the actual facility, which will be the next level. Um, but I mean, I know this game like the back of my hand, and it's there's not much like it. Like I'm a big golfer. This is, I know this is going to be very difficult to compare, but I can be golfing with people, and they'll be like, "Yeah, you remember this course, hole three? I'm like, no. But it's like with something like this game, I can tell you every aspect of this game, where each person is, you know, where each bad guy is, what the objectives are, how to beat it. That's it. So that was walkthrough number one. That is damn. I think I did that in probably. Eight, ten minutes or something? We'll see.